Fusion Strike. Now when this set got announced back in the day I was incredibly hyped. Since it is a set that's mainly featured around Mew, meaning there are a lot of awesome Mew cards in this one. Unfortunately though, I never actually pulled anything great. Never pulled any Mew alternate art, not even the full art. And for that matter, never even pulled um, a alternate art out of Fusion Strike full stop. Um, this video will try to remedy that. I have about 19 booster packs right here. Um, so let's see if we can get something decent out of any one of these. Let me put them over here. And I guess we'll start with the first one, Fusion Strike. Man, I, I have opened this so much. I've talked about it in a lot of my older videos. That I've opened this so much, this set. Never pulled anything great. Let's see if we can if we can remedy that in this one, in this video. Pansish, we've got a Wooloo. We've got a Corviknight. And we've got nothing in here, just a Scent Discortion on Holographic. Let me put the energy aside. And here is the code card. So first one, of course. Nothing in that one. Am I even surprised? No, probably not. But we'll see. We'll see if we can get anything out of out of Fusion Strike. You know, there might be there might be a reason for me for never pulling anything out of Fusion Strike. And it's gonna sound like a conspiracy theory. It's the it's the the um the incident that happened uh, a little while ago, you know, of the of the stolen um, fusion strike hits like a ton of them. I know they they said the Pokemon company said it didn't affect any of the pull rates. I mean, come on, come on. Um, you have to admit that this was or that was the only case that had ever been out in public. Like that was the first one that was ever published. Who knows how many how many more cases there were? But oh well, let's just focus on the opening, I suppose. Got a Plazzle, very cute. We got a Muna, we got Double, and we've got a Clay Doll. Wow, three for three, nothing here. At least we have the Cold Quarter. At least you do. So there is a little consolation prize for you, at least. Man, we have to get something at some point, right? Right. Maybe just maybe we're starting it off slow. You know, maybe we get a V here and there. And then at some point we're gonna pull we're gonna pull something really great. So a dial, very nice. We've got a Snorlax, just relaxing as always. Let's see, we've got a Chansey. And we've got a V. Hey, here we go. We've got something at least. It's a Chandler V. Very nice. Very, very nice. Shauna, Victini, and here is the code card. There is the code card. Let's talk about a bit of the upcoming sets, mainly Raging Surf, the latest Japanese expansion that is, I think, coming out in one week, actually. Um, don't know if I'll open that. I'm still unsure about it. You know, it all depends on, on the price I can get it for. Although I've seen a few interesting cards in that set, mainly um, the Groudon Art Rare. And what else is there? There is, of course, the um, the Fuller Trainer. Forgotten his name. Forgotten his name. But I, I can feel. I mean, at the time of, of recording this video, there hasn't been any any like secret rares or super rares published. And I mean, if if Grow Groudon is on the front of the of the booster, it's like featured among other Pokemon, and it's getting an art rare. So my hopes are that it still gets a um, a special illustration rare, and it's gonna look amazing. But we'll see. We'll just have to wait, I suppose. We've got a, a holographic Butterfree in Sword and Shield. That is actually considered a hit, even though many people would be really really happy. Hey, we get, at least we got the a laser sparkle. You know, there you go. A laser spark, at least. I do have the full art, although I do have the full art in um, in Japanese. Let's open another one of these Mew packs. Right here. And see, at some point, at some point, right, something has to show. Maybe a full art trainer, you know, I consider that kind of decent. Well, let's see, Mantine. We've got a Basculin. And we've got an Arcanine. Admittedly, that illustration is beautiful. Who illustrated that? 
You Nishida, okay. I mean, that is that is actually really beautiful, that, that Arcanine illustration. Not going to lie. Unfortunately, though, not what we're looking for in this opening. Not what we're looking for. We're looking specifically for an alternate art. Um, perhaps even the Mew VMAX. I don't actually know... I don't actually know which card is the most expensive out of Fusion Strike because you usually don't don't really pay attention to that stuff unless I want to buy it as a single. Um, I'm a guess it's it's the Gengar V Max still. I don't think the Mew V Max is is that expensive. Pretty sure it's it's the Gengar that's the that's the most expensive. Just a Luxray non holographic. Okay, well. This is this is fusion strike. This is the average fusion strike experience right here. Getting no pulls whatsoever, other than a few here and there, and we still get got plenty of booster packs left. Still got plenty of booster packs left. You know, we we can still pull something potentially here. Indeedy, got a Growlithe, got a Phalanx, we've got a Primeape. And we've got a Pikachu V. Okay, that's not half bad. Pikachu is always a a good pull in my book. Pikachu is always a a decent one. Let's put it over over here, I guess. I do have a lot of space. Let's cover up cover up Nessa's face over there and continue on. Let's see. Um, what kind of full art trainers are in here? I do have to remember. I know Elisa Sparkle. Um, I think there's also School, School Girl or School Boy. Maybe even both of them. Um, but we'll see. Nope, Zera Aura. Zera Aura non holographic. Here is the code card, though. Enjoy. Good luck to whoever gets that one. And then we're going to continue on. All right, the. Um, Talking about Raging Surf, they're also the Pokemon 151 expansion is, is or the release date is right around the corner as well. At least the the ETB I do believe is is releasing soon. Um, I think it's 22nd of September or 23rd. Might be misremembering things, but I'm pretty pretty sure that it's releasing soon. Landorus, that's also considered a hit, even though it's just a holographic. If you think about it like the the Sword and Shield era was kind of rough, eh? If a normal holographic counts as a hit. But, you know, each to their own. I do must say, I prefer the current Scarlet and Violet era. But it's always fun opening these older sets. You know, just to look back. And see what potentially you can get in here. Like, this one might even have a Mew in there. You know, there is a new V. There's not just the the alternate arts. Not in this one, though. There's not just the alternate arts and full arts and so on. There's also, like, a normal Mew V and a normal new Mew V Max, which I'm pretty sure are still kind of pricey because the deck is probably still performing kind of okay. But, you know, maybe we can pull either one of those. If we pull any Mew... I'd be happy. I consider that a a success. But we'll see. Galarian. Okay, Docs. Well, Golem, there we go. I just messed all of that up. But nothing to worry about there. Lopunny kicking at the end there. Nose goes for those for those booster packs. Man, have we really only gotten four hits and like two of them are just hollows? That's rough, man. That's rough. That's really, really rough. Okay, Melton. We have a Toxel. Storyu. We have a Mawile. Let's see, Makuhita. We've got a Musharna. And we've got a Holographic for Alligator. Okay. Well, as I've said earlier, this appears to be the average Fusion Strike opening experience. You know, no really any hits in here. Other than a few Vs and so oh, that's actually kind of surprising. Like we haven't gotten a single um a single textured card, not even like a full art or a trainer. That is really, really surprising to me. Huh. That is really well, actually, no, at this point. Oh well. Just as I said, we didn't even get a single textured card. We got dancer. Very, very nice. Hey, at least that's something, right? 
At least it's something. Here's a laser again. And here is the code card. Hey, we got something. We got the dancer rainbow rare. And to be fair though, I didn't like the rainbow rare trainers or Pokemon at first. I have to be fair. They're kind of growing on me, honestly. Not going to lie. They are kind of growing on me over time. I have like a few of them in my in my trait binder for now. But to be fair, I kind of like them now. Buck catcher and a blissey. Okay, we got Sydney, Cross Switcher, and Crocano at the end there. Okay, here is the code card. Good luck. And then we have three packs left. Man, okay, are we really down to the last three packs? Okay, I'll tell you what, if I if I can't pull anything from these from these last packs, I'll I'll open my stash of of booster packs, specifically fusion strike booster packs. And then see if we can't pull anything other out of these, the last ones. Here's a Steelix. Put you over here. Energy and Schoolgirl. There you go. Code card. Energy over here as well. Table's kind of filling up. It's fine. We only have two booster packs left. Let's see if we can't get anything else in these. Let's see. Okay. We've got a... Helioptile, to start it out with. We've got a Wooloo, a Glossy Fleur, Mudkip, that's a really cute illustration, I like that one. We've got a Sand Shrew, Skater's Park, and a Corviknight non-holographic. Yep, the average Fusion Strike opening experience right here. Okay, can we get anything in the last pack, or do I have to grab some packs from my personal stash? that I wanted to keep for, well, not really special occasions, I just wanted to keep them full stop. Let's see. Let's see if this pack can redeem itself. With this opening right here, we've got a Grubbin, we've got a Mankey, we've got a Mudkip. Nope, we've got a Palo Sand. Okay. Well, 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 well. Hey, we got the Dancer again. This time in a normal, um, uncommon. Okay, well. Um, let me grab some packs from my stash, some more Fusion Strike packs, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed a few more packs right here that we're going to open. And if we don't get anything from these, I have these ones which I actually do not want to open. I actually want to keep them sealed because they're Mew packs, but I might rip one open as a last resort. And for now I'll put them aside, and we'll just, you know, continue on with these ones right here. Because I do not believe that this is all we're going to get from, like, 19 Fusion Strike packs. That would be a really poor performance, but, you know, let's see if I, if we can't prove him wrong. Prove Fusion Strike wrong. Well, that's a Swamper. That's a hit right off the bat. Okay. That's a hit right off the bat. Very, very nice. Maybe, maybe this is the one. Maybe this, this stack is the one. That would give us a an interesting pull. Once again, any Mew card I would be very happy with, or an alternate art, I would absolutely flip out. Meryl, that's a cute illustration like that one. Wooloo, just looking into the sky. We've got an Absol. Very nice. And we've got a Palo Sen. No goes for this one. Here is the code card, of course. Let's see. Man, oh man. Fusion Strike as rough as always with the with the pulls. Kinda kinda really man makes me want to open a um a Scarlet and Violet era booster box or something. Because the pull rates are just so much better. Or even Crown Zenith. I mean the, the pull rates for Crown Zenith are incredibly good. Fire energy. And here is the code card. Alright. Come on, we have to get we have to get something really, really good in one of these packs, right? That's how it works. If you if you wish for something good, you're gonna pull it. That's how it works. Actually, no, that's not how I pulled the the Umbreon VMAX in the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection opening. Hey, here you go. Genesect V. Nice, that's a that's a pull. That's not half bad. Here is the code card though. There you go. 
That is not half bad. It's a V. Well, we'll see what else we can get here. Let's see. Okay. Um, is that a Mudkip? That is a Mudkip. I really like that card. That's a cute illustration. And it's a Gen 3 Pokemon. You know, I'm all about those Gen 3 Pokemon, of course. Shelder, Voltorb. We've got a more Peko. We've got a we've got a we've got a Krabu Minable. Um I I hate to admit that that took me a little while to how to learn how to pronounce correctly, but we did it anyways, you know, success. There is the code card. English is hard. Especially pronouncing certain words. Especially certain words. Oh boy. Alright. Well, this is going great. I'm I'm really happy that I pulled these packs out because we got a few extra pulls here and there. Which is nice. We'll see if we get something something other than, than those ones. Uh, might have to rip open the other the other new packs here. Oh, there we go. Nothing in this one. Code card though. Enjoy. Enjoy. And then three packs here left. Let's see. If we get another textured card, I'd be fine. Could be a full art. Could be a trainer. I'd be very happy with that result. But let's see. We've got an Indeedee first. We've got a Growlithe. Phalanx. We've got an Angry Morpeko. Smeargle. We've got an Obstagoon. And we've got a Yveltal. Okay. Well, we still got two left, so still two chances to potentially get something good in Fusion Strike. A sentence someone never said, because Fusion Strike is very notorious for having horrible pull rates. Horrible. Terrible pull rates. Um, this video was supposed to prove to prove people wrong. Um, it just... It just added to the fact that the pull rates for Fusion Strike are terrible. It didn't actually disprove anything as of right now. Oh, here we go. Okay, well, that's a texture card. It's an Inteleon VMAX. Okay. Kind of a texture card. Not the kind of texture card I was looking for, to be honest. But, you know, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's see. I'm probably going to rip open the other three as well because I have this bad habit of... I, I just I just can't keep stuff sealed for a very long time. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I just have that that itch to open to open some cards, right? Um, usually it's fine, you know, with the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection that I opened. I had that lying around for a really long time. That's an alternate art. Okay. Okay, sorry about that weird cut. I had to check my recording. I just looked up at my camera and I saw it, it stopped recording and I was really worried. I didn't get the, the alternate art pull on camera, but I it looks like I did, just about did. So here we go. We have the, the Sandaconda. Um, this is, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is actually the cheapest alternate art you can buy, although the Gurlurk or the Golurk might be cheaper than this, but hey, it is an alternate art, and it is from Fusion Strike, and this is not half bad. This is a decent pull. An alternate art is a decent pull, doesn't matter how much it is. I love these alternate arts. This is nice. Okay. Um, well, that does mean that I don't have to have to rip open these ones. These ones will still will stay sealed in my collection. Okay. Well, thank God. Um, I guess this was kind of successful. I mean, I like what we walked away with, honestly. Of course, of course I expect, well, I didn't really expect an alternate art. I was hoping for a different alternate art. I mean, you always do, right? But hey, pulling an alternate art as it is, is still an amazing accomplishment, especially for Fusion Strike. You know, horrible, horrible pull rates. Um, but anyways, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then by all means, give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you, and right here is the sub button. You should press this one first, then you should check out this video. It's gonna be awesome. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.